Sneaky from Movie Web. I'm so excited to be here with the creator, showrunner, EP, and lead of the highly anticipated series, The Consultant. How are you, gentlemen, doing today? Very well. Now that you good, thank you. <laughs> I try to bring a little compware into our interview today, but I did want to ask how the consultant found its way to each one of you. Tony, I would like to start with you. Mr. Padoff. Still working. That is commendable. I'm just uh, waiting on a ride home. So, what is that? I was interested in doing a workplace thriller, and then one of our producers gave me uh, Bentley Little's book, and I just love the tone of it. I love the humor and the darkness, and you know, this the introduction of this character, Regis Padoff, just felt it just so, it felt so right for today's world. You know, someone who doesn't pause or hesitate in his moments of madness. You know, just kind of has that real presence and creates such mischief and yeah so that was me really so i wrote the pilot we got the director on board matt shackman and then we approached christoph so i think that's a good point to hand over to christoph yeah and and that that just continued you know it uh, it's just one step along the line and since it felt so very much in sync with the rest. One of the most frustrating things one can do is disturb a sink. Um, so who am I to disturb any sink? And um, so we synced along. Well, I'm glad you accepted the sink because I binged the entire season and I was just laughing and it was delightfully sinister, so much satire. Can you describe the conversations that happened between you two when it came to creating the character of Mr. Pata? For those who work remotely, you have exactly one hour to get here in person or your contracts of employment will be terminated. That's all. Um, for me, I, there weren't that many conversations. I, I think it was a it was a question of trust, really, with Christoph. I think you know Matt Shackman and I knew who we were casting, you know, and we knew that we were going to get a performance, and you know we knew that he was going to run by his instinct. So, really, once we had Christoph in place, it, you know, we could build the show around that, you know, and that was a very kind of important thing. I think. Once we knew that that kind of the keystone in it was right, then everything else, it felt, yeah, it felt really comfortable for us. When you're the one who you clearly notice that it's being built around, you must never, ever try to take advantage of that because it's not you, it's the character in the constellation. And if you start to believe that it is about you as a person, you disturb, seriously disturb that flow and do a lot of harm. So what you do is you kind of, you know, submit to the, to the flow and do your best to suffice. If you can muster the discipline to adhere to that, it becomes pure joy because that's what we react to in a joyful manner, flow. If it just, you know, and, and that way you can inspire maybe, or maybe not, but it's not, you know, you just uh, do what you were asked to do and, and it's beautiful. Absolutely. And I think you did a little bit more than that. I mean, beyond speaking multiple languages, learning Korean, and if it was, wasn't my imagination, I believe you sang the ending credits my way by Frank Sinatra, was that you uh, on the singing credits? No, it was Frank Sinatra. Are you sure? I heard I heard a little less sinister laugh at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I know opera was very much uh, your joy before acting, so it was really cool to see that worked in there. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was it was fun. But again, it came together. There was no you know no no exertion in effort to to force that thing it just you know it just happened and and then we ended up recording this version and you know tony liked it and uh, it all fell together it, it's not that we were completely detached from it you know and no no we did the work but that's how it flows flows together well i'm very excited for audiences to see season one and i hope there's works for season two we're trying we would love right. to, and yeah, I think if it's right, we'll do it.
All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I wish our interviews were a lot longer, but congratulations on a fantastic season. I'm so excited for the world to see the consultant. Thanks, Nikki. Thank you.